So here, we are going to continue placing annotatable elements, leveraging different textiles like we have been doing so far. However, here we're going to utilize a lesser known feature when working with text inside of MicroStation, and that is the usage of tabs and indents. So we're gonna close that file, and then select the CAC Retail Center Development work set and open the General Notes DGN file. So here we're going to continue to place annotatable elements, leveraging different textiles like we've been seeing so far. However, here we're going to utilize tabs and indents. As you can see here, we have the General Notes sheets. These are in a state of work in progress, and we wish to add some drainage notes which occur on the second sheet, shown here. So as you can see, we have this area on the left that is open. This is where we're going to place our general notes relative to the drainage. The source of these notes will come from a text file. So I'm going to open up the text file with Notepad. select the text, and copy that to my clipboard. I have what I need so I can close Notepad. There it is inside of the text editor. This text is going to need some work if it is to match what we see over on the right column over here. For now, I'm just going to place this text into the design. Now we're going to come back here to this text and touch it up using the edit text tool. All the next steps that I'm about to take, I could have done before placing the text. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to step by step through this for you. We'll begin with the casing. As you can see, the casing is a mix of upper and lower case. Easy enough. I'll select the text to edit it. So with the body of the text still selected, I'll right click on this and select change case, all upper. Next, we need to change the drainage textile to match the other categories. So I am going to come in here and highlight that text and change by simply selecting the civil proposed textile from the drop down menu. I will also have to make it bold to match the other categories. It is now at this point where we can focus on the body of this text. If you were to compare the drainage notes to those on the right, you'll probably notice that it's lacking tabs and indentations. It's a little obscure to get this, but the text editor window allows you to set first line indents, paragraph indents, and tab stops. Let's take a look. If I were to right click on the ruler, a pop-up will happen. 
Here, you can select the indentations and tab settings. You can also toggle the setting for word wrapping. All right, so this will open the edit indentation and tab settings dialog. The first section controls indentation settings. So first line, this indents affects the first line of each paragraph. We're going to leave this set for zero. The hanging controls the indentation of all the lines of the paragraph. In other words, everything after the first line of text so for this, we'll set this to be three. The bottom of this dialog is for creating custom tab stops. Tab stops occur by default at a distance equal to four times the text width. Custom tab stops can be specified to override this distance. We'll enter six for a custom tab stop. We'll hit okay and you'll see that the paragraph indents line up with the first line of the text. So you can see that there is one more thing here that we need to address, and that is the bullets. Those will utilize the custom tab value of six. So I'll reselect this with the edit text tool and I'll make sure to set those correctly to that custom tab setting. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.